Hi, darlings. This is going to be for my Sagittarius. And this is going to be from the 26th of March to the 1st of April. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. And I will be using my Robin Wood, Robin Wood Tarot deck. <laughs> and to clarify, I'll be using tarot with keywords. So, Sagittarius, let's see what messages we have for you. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The Four of Cups. You're thinking about something. You're meditating on something. Might have lost a few opportunities, you think. The Page of Wands. young fiery person don't let your fire go out just have some patience temperance the nine of cups your wishes come true the knight of wands mm. do not act hasty or are you going after something or is something coming after you with a lot of passion? The Seven of Swords. Betrayal. Deceit. Lies. Or you keep looking over your shoulder because you're expecting something bad to happen. You see, if you keep doing that, what are you doing? You're bringing the bad things in. Now, if it's something in the back there that you need to heal from, then please find a quiet moment, a quiet place where you can only hear nothing. The sound of silence. And go back to that time and start the healing process. Okay, and stop looking over your shoulder and expecting the worst to happen. You deserve way better than that. The Two of Swords, you have a decision to make. The Six of Wands, whatever your decision will be, you will be victorious, successful. The Chariot, it's coming pretty fast. It's coming pretty fast, the decision. So let's see. The Four of Cups. <clears throat> On top of the Four of Cups, you deep in thought about family, divine love and happiness. And then there's the Seven of Wands. You got some challenges you're facing in regards to family, huh? Or the, in regards to love or happiness, you know, because this could be family, this could be 
your inner happiness, you know, but you are facing some challenges. But darling, you are above your challenges. Darlings. Okay. The page of wands, the page of wands. Fiery self. Let's see here. The Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. So you're working very hard and you're very passionate about something that's going on in your life. Um, or you might be working on an idea and how to bring in some income. But you're not seeing something clearly. You're missing something. Okay? So you need to take a step back. And figure out what it is that you're missing. Or are you starting to see through people's BS? Which one is it? And temperance. Temperance. The Ace of Swords. You will have mental clarity soon. Just be patient. And the King of Wands here. Is that you, Sagittarius? You're a natural leader, aren't you? And a visionary. So we got the mental clarity, the Ace of Swords, or it could be some communication you're waiting on also. And there you are. You're thinking about doing something or you're acting on something right now. Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Wishes come true. The Page of Swords. <clears throat> You're going to have new ideas. And you do have the energy for it, okay? And then there's the Ten of Swords. There's a, some type of painful ending. Now, if this painful ending does not resonate with you. The card says you have endured something painful and have multiple wounds as a result. It's gonna take time to heal. We can't change the past, but we can certainly play the role in our future. The Ten of Swords marks the end of your ordeal. Things can only go up from here. Put the past behind you and start moving forward. Because the light is ahead. Now, sometimes we just can't let go of stuff, you know, because that crap still follows us. So what I suggest you do is get a quiet moment and meditate and go back and visit that painful time in your life. And start healing. Ain't no need to bring that baggage forward here. Leave it back there. Let's break some of these curses, you know? Come on. So the Knight of Wands. You're longing for something. I got the Two of Wands and I got the Justice card. Ooh. You got some kind of decision to make. The Justice card says your decision will have lasting effects. If, you, if you've endured wrongdoing, then this card means relief is incoming. Relief is incoming if you've endured wrongdoing. And the two of wands, you're longing for something. So whatever it is you're longing for, most likely it'll be in your favor. And then here comes the seven, oops. The seven of um, swords. You know I love you guys. So the swords. On top of that, <laughs> you got a decision you're going to have to make. And I got the death card. So I got the two of swords. And I got the death card. Changes incoming. Endings and beginnings. Transition. It's the end of a cycle. You got to make a decision. But it's an end of a cycle coming. So. 
and you got the two of swords here and you got the two of swords here also so this two of swords this decision is following you the king of cups this is a cancer scorpio or pisces or this could be you being emotionally stable and the six of pentacles maybe you have achieved balance financially so the king of cups and the six of pentacles above the two of swords so maybe you gotta come to some decision that has to do with your emotions if this is not an energy in your environment. If there's no Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your environment, that's masculine. And then on top of the Six of Wands, which is victory, success, came the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You are going to see the fruits of your labor. You're going to have comfort financially. Um, but you're going to have some kind of conflict going on. And the thing is, it says, the card says, you might be the one stirring the pot. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. And then the Chariot. And if you hear some people in the background, I'm not alone anymore. Yeah, but I love it because I had felt lonely for quite a while, especially after I put my baby to sleep, you know, my little puppy. He was 14, that little thing. <laughs> anyway, let's see, something is coming fast. What is coming fast here? You're going to have some conflict. Don't be stirring no pot, start no argument with anybody, okay? You and your little fiery self, so step back. Or your big fiery self. Whichever one you are, you get the drift. You understand what I mean. So what is coming fast is the Seven of Pentacles. You can start looking at your long-term views, you know, and start... You know, keep that goal and just keep going for it. Um, you're going to find balance also. Well, the two of pentacles, it says, you know, you could be off balance. But I think with the seven of pentacles here, it shows me that you are balanced. Financially, you found your balance. So. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't let go. And you will continue to be balanced. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.